Lebanese security forces fired gunshots and tear gas canisters at protesters trying to reach the prime minister's office. Several civilians were injured and chaos broke out. The funeral ceremony has turned into a scene of clashes between angry protesters and the Lebanese security forces. All it took for the situation to reach the tipping point were a few words. Earlier, most speakers held Lebanon's current prime minister morally responsible for Friday's car bombing that killed Al Hassan, his bodyguard, and one other person. The March 14 alliance, the opposition in Lebanon, which is not part of the cabinet, is doing all it can to oust Prime Minister Najib Miqati. Leave Prime Minister Miqati. Leave to where the Lebanese people want you to be and where your people in the north want you to be. Otherwise, you are accused of covering for criminals. Leave, Prime Minister. Leave because the Lebanese people will no longer accept the continuation of the government of assassinations. You are now responsible. And as the body of Al-Hassan was laid to rest, many different emotions here ran high. Grief, anger and a longing for unity in Lebanon. Sectarian tensions between groups that support the Syrian government and those who oppose it are feeding into the tension here. The Jews, Muslims and the Christians are all hand in hand and they're not afraid of anyone. And we're here. Even if we have to die, we're not backing off. March 14 Alliance leaders wanted the funeral ceremony to be a political event where Lebanese people demand an end to Syria's intervention in Lebanon. And they did. No matter how many of us have been killed, we are staying in Lebanon. May God kill Bashar al-Assad for every drop of blood that had been shed in Lebanon and in Syria. The government has launched an investigation into the killing of Al-Hassan. The Lebanese president urged those in charge of it to reveal the facts soon. I call on the judiciary, do not be afraid. The people are with you. And I call on the security forces to be steadfast. You have the support of the people. I demand the politicians and the government not to cover up the criminals' actions. Recent events have shown once again the extent to which Lebanon is at the mercy of Syria's crisis. This may be the beginning of a much feared spillover from Syria. The issue now is to work out how to contain it. Nisreen Shamayla Al Jazeera, Beirut.